when we did Waco, I got number 77. Well, I didn't get to do Waco because I had bronchitis and didn't get to race. And I thought it was cool that I had 77 because that's kind of a lucky number. Well, I didn't get 77 today, but I do have 177. So got those double sevens, lucky sevens, and they're gonna be a lot luckier than they were in Waco. Gonna be a good sign. <laughs> good stuff, good vibes already, feeling it. We've been using Infinite for two and a half years now. Oh, at least, yeah, I think so. And we found the trick to prepping our aero bottles is to mix the Infinite with hot water so it dilutes really well. And then we put it in our aero bottles and then keep it in the fridge overnight and then it is perfect and ready to go. What we do is we do a highly concentrated mix so we can essentially be self-sustaining on the course. And so I make a three and a half hour bottle, which is probably a little more than I need, but it's always safe to have a little more than not enough. And then if I need to at aid stations, I'll add water to dilute it down. But what I'll do is I'll take a drink of the infinite and then I'll chase it with water that I'll also carry on my bike just to keep the, the concentrate level, you know, respectable and, and not overload the system with too much. There you go. So. This will be my first race using this specific setup. I've trained with it a few times. I'll say if there is any uh, downfall to this, and it's probably user error, is that um, sometimes the drink mix is still in the straw and just the, the shake of the road surface can shake some of the nutrition mix out and it kind of makes a little mess down my pretty bike. <laughs> Like Tiff, uh, this will be all I take on the bike nutrition wise. Except five miles out from the end of the bike course, I will take a gel just to give me that extra little something to have in the tank before I start the run. I'm nervous. Yeah. That's not like you. Nerves. I guess the nerves are just brought on by. Some of the hype I've put out there for myself. I've got a massive goal I want to hit. Coming into this race, knowing that I can't have a big expectation. You know, honestly, it is finishing. So I don't know. It's it's. it's I a, still think you're gonna have a good time. <laughs> Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough all the day time. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch. So cold, get over yourself. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is now we're enemies. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong. I'm ready for the Yeah.
I'm not gonna lie, there's points along the way where you question why the hell we do this, but once you get to the finish line, all that goes away and it, it becomes perfectly clear why why we do do this. And do it together. I knew when I got off the bike it was gonna be hard, but I also knew if I can hold it together, I'd easily beat my best Galveston time, and I did. But it wasn't easy at all, it wasn't. I'll say the biggest energy came from total strangers. Go Team Saunders is that's what great. got me through and the random people, athletes, fans, just kept me going, just kept me going and when I wanted to walk, when I wanted to just, just collapse, I knew I couldn't. <laughs> Next race, I will not be crying at the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a rough road. That's right. Thank you. I'm proud of her. I knew she had it in her. I knew this has been a long time coming and she deserves it. Proud of you.